Welcome back to Cannon Fodder, the channel for Arsenal fans all over this world. And um, it's another segment or another instalment of the player profile. This segment has been generated by the majority of subscribers and um, this next player, absolutely wonderful. There's been many who have uh, come before him and uh, there's been some pretenders <laughs> that have since come in and no one has come close to this player. Who am I talking about? I'm talking about Gilberto Aparecido da Silva. Yes, the Brazilian maestro in the midfield, the midfield enforcer. Before Gilberto actually made it to Arsenal, in 2000, aged just 24, he joined rival club Atletico Mineiro. In his first season for the club, he fractured his right tibula and as a result missed a number of games. In his second season, he was moved by manager Carlos Alberto Pereira from central defence to a defensive midfield role, where he flourished. He scored three goals in 2001 season and became a revelation in Brazilian club football. Gilberto's performance in the 2002 FIFA World Cup called the attention of many clubs. Gilberto expressed a desire to move to England, saying, it would be fantastic to play against the likes of David Beckham again. As a result, FA Premier League clubs such as Aston Villa and my club, Arsenal, led the chase to sign him. In August, while still under contract to Atletico Mineiro, Gilberto joined Arsenal in their pre-season tour of Austria. While he had not yet signed for Arsenal, the deal looked set to go ahead. However, complications arose when a transfer embargo was placed on Atletico Mineiro due to unpaid wages to some players at the club, including Gilberto. There was also an issue of obtaining a UK work permit for Gilberto. And so, despite the complications, Gilberto ended a summer of speculation and joined Arsenal finally on the 7th of August 2002. Upon signing Gilberto, Arsenal manager Arsene Wenger said what I like was the fact that he kept things simple he can play across the midfield but the holding role just in front of the defense is what he does best and so on 11th August 2002 he made his Arsenal debut as a substitute against Liverpool in the second half of the FA Community Shield game in which he scored the winning goal as the 2002 stroke 3 FA Premier League season began Gilberto faced stiff competition for a place in the midfield from compatriot Edu. After two substitute appearances, Gilberto finally, finally broke into the starting eleven on the 27th of August, helping Arsenal win 5-2 win against West Bromwich Albion. Gilberto's good form continued as he set a new record for the fastest goal at that time scored in the UEFA Champions League, scoring just after 20.07 seconds again on the 25th of September 2002. 2003-4 was an even better season for Gilberto as he instrumental in helping Arsenal win the Premier League, yeah, whilst going the entire season, the Invincibles, unbeaten, he played in 32 of Arsenal's 38 unbeaten Premier League games during the season. His next season started equally impressive as he scored the first goal in Arsenal's 3-1 Community Shield win over Manchester United at the Millennium Stadium. During the opening game of the season, he started to ex experience severe pain in his back and after a match at Bolton Wanderers on the 27th September 2004, a scan revealed he had fractured his back. At first, it was reported that he would be out of action for a month. Later reports suggested the injury could be season-threatening. Gilberto's doctor ordered him to wear a back brace for three months to aid the healing of the fractured bone. Gilberto returned to his native Brazil for the duration of his rehabilitation. During his time there, he doubted whether he would ever be able to play again due to the speculation that his injury could threaten his career. Despite his concerns, his long rehabilitation time paid off as he made a full recovery. He made his footballing comeback in Arsenal's 4-1 victory over Norwich on the 27th of April 2005. 
during the whole of 2004-5 season. Gilberto was injured for 7 months and played only 17 games. His absence, combined with Arsenal's slump in form at the time, led to much discussion regarding the importance of Gilberto to the Arsenal team. Some suggested that Arsenal struggled without him. In the 2005-6 six season when it began, and following the departure of captain Patrick Vieira, Gilberto became a senior member of the Arsenal team. Shortly into the season, in September 2005, his desire to see his, his career out with the club led to Gilberto extending his Arsenal contract to June 2009. A month later, this loyalty was repaid when, on the 18th of October 2005, Gilberto made his first appearance for Arsenal as captain against Sparta Prague. Although Gilberto had a period of bad form during the winter months of the season, his good defensive performances during the latter stages of the UEFA Champions League, in particular the games against Real Madrid, Juventus and Villarreal, gained him praise. And so on the 17th of May 2006, Gilberto played for Arsenal in the UEFA Champions League final against FC Barcelona, which of course we lost 2-1. Following the departure of defensive defenders Sol Campbell and retirement of striker Dennis Bergkamp in the summer of 2006, Gilberto was announced as Arsenal's vice-captain for the 2006-7 season. He began the season well and he scored the first ever goal at the Dutch DSB Stadium in a pre-season friendly match. He then scored Arsenal's first ever goal in a competitive match at the Emirates way in a one more draw with uh, Aston Villa his good form continued for Arsenal as he scored several league goals uh, garnering praise from his performances as standing captain while Thierry Henry was injured Gilberto and his uh, agent Paolo Viana also reiterated the player's desire to honour his contract with the Gunners meanwhile Gilberto's good form carried through to the second half of the season, even though Arsenal only managed to finish fourth in the league. The build-up of 2007's stroke eight season saw Arsenal captain Thierry Henry leave the club to join Barcelona. This coupled with the fact that Gilberto was Arsenal's vice-captain during 2006's stroke seven season led many, including myself, to assume Gilberto would take over uh, Henry's role. However, to the surprise of Gabriel, uh, Gilberto and myself, incredibly enough, William Gallas was given the captain's armband instead. In August, after return to Arsenal's pre-season training, late due to his movement, involvement in the Copa America tournament and thus missing the start of the season, Gilberto then lost his place in the first team to young midfielder Matthew Flamini. This reignited speculation linking Gilberto to Italy due to rumours that he, had, he was unhappy being on the bench at Arsenal. However, reports that he was being subbed at the club were dismissed by Wenger, who insist that Gilberto would remain at Arsenal to fight for his place. Despite this, in 2007, rumours in the press re-emerged that Gilberto was angry at Wenger for being asked to play in defence in a League Cup game against Sheffield United. Through the winter months of 2007-8 stroke eight season, Gilberto started a limited number of games for the Gunners. Though he kept his place in the Brazilian team, starting seven games for a Seleccion after becoming more and more frustrated with not playing regularly. Gilberto admitted in February 2008 that he had been made to feel totally useless by Arsene Wenger. Despite this, he declined to make a decision on his future something which prompted Wenger to promise talks with Gilberto and Mr. Gilberto's frustration at Arsenal. Gilberto saying he wanted to stay and possibly even renew his contract at Arsenal. Gilberto finished the 2007-8 season with 36 appearances for Arsenal, with only 12 of these being Premier League starts. Following Brazil's summer international games, he was seriously linked with a move to Greek club Panathinaikos. The speculation concluded with Gilberto agreeing terms with the Athenian side on the 17th of July 2008, and the rest, as I say, is history. One tends to forget, you know, that um, yeah, he scored the first goal at the Emirates 
and it was just by um, you know, the performance they put in, in the 2002 uh, FA, um, FA, the FIFA uh, World Cup final there that uh, he uh, began to, um, yeah, his profile kind of soared and um, thank God it was Arsenal and Arsene Wenger picked him up. I'd love to you know, stay a little bit longer at Arsenal but um, like I've always said players cannot stay at Arsenal forever. No one can be bigger, bigger than um, Arsenal. But listen, if you want me to feature your favourite player, just put your comments in the box and um, I'll do the rest. Anyhow, this has been Cannon Fodder, the channel for Arsenal fans all over this world.